Hi, I'm Rockin' Robin from CookingMexicanRecipes.com and today I'm going to be making some homemade Mexican hot chocolate. Now this recipe, I want to take it to the next level by making it as creamy and as decadent and smooth as possible. So we're going to use some really quality ingredients here. So I'm sure you're going to love this, so let's get started. All right, so let's go over our ingredients. Now the first most important ingredient here is I've got some Ghirardelli Premium Hot Cocoa. So I want you to make sure you get this one. This one has sugar in it already and a couple other ingredients, but we can read all those ingredients and understand them. So they're nothing uh, artificial there. So I've got six tablespoons of that. Now over here I've got, I'm using whole milk. We want to use whole milk for that nice rich consistency. So this is one cup of whole milk. I have a quarter cup of heavy cream. And I've got some, uh, what have I got here? Almond extract, that is just, we're gonna just put a little pinch of that in there, or a little drop. And then I've got a quarter teaspoon of ground cinnamon and an eighth of a teaspoon of nutmeg. So the first thing we wanna do is I'm just gonna take my whole milk and I'm gonna pour it into the pan. And what we wanna do is heat up our milk and our he heavy cream just till it's hot. We don't want it to boil. So once I do that on the stove over there, then we'll add the rest of our ingredients. Okay, so now our milk looks like it's hot enough. Now I want to have the milk hot, that way the chocolate, when I add it, is going to dissolve nicely. So here we go. Pour that in. Now remember, I have my temperature down to low right now. So we're going to mix that in. And now I'm going to add my cinnamon and nutmeg. Now by the way, this is a serving for one. So we're going to just mix this for a bit until it's all blended in. I'm going to add the almond extract after I take it off the heat. Okay, so now the hot chocolate looks like it's hot enough. Everything's dissolved. So now I'm going to turn off the heat and I'm going to add my almond extract just a little bit. Now we don't want to overpower this, just like that. And we'll stir that in. All right, so now we're ready to go ahead and serve it up. So I'm going to just do it with a ladle because it's, as you can see, it's pretty hot. And I've got a nice clear glass here so you can see. Now we're going to top this off with some homemade whipping cream. I'm not going to use that stuff in a, in a bottle. So all I did was is I just whipped up a cup of whipping cream with some uh, uh, vanilla extract, you know, like a teaspoon of that, and some a couple tablespoons of uh, sugar. And so we have that right here, so we might as well go all out and have our fantastic whipping cream. If you're going to make this and, and eat these calories, let's make it the best we possibly can, right? So look at that. And if you want, you can throw in a cinnamon stick if you like a little extra cinnamon. There you go. And there you have it. Delicious, delicious. And this stuff is just so rich and creamy. You're never going to want to use those packaged hot cocoa mixes again after you try this, trust me. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and take a little taste because it's a little hot. Oh man, that is so good and creamy. You are gonna love this, delicious. Mm -mm -mm. So thanks for watching my video. A little whipping cream there. And be sure and subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.